British Secretary of State for Defence Liam Fox delivering the Lakshman Khadrigama Memorial Lecture said that late Minister Khadrigama would have expected allegations of war crimes fully investigated and individuals responsible held accountable. He would have undoubtedly welcomed the defeat of the LTTE, one of the most brutal terrorist organisations the world has seen. It was, we must remember, an organisation where children were forced to become soldiers or even suicide bombers and where violence and murder were seen as legitimate tools. But his commitment to the principles of accountability before the law meant that he was never a man who believed that the ends always justify the means. He would have expected, as I do, allegations of violations of international human rights and humanitarian law by both sides at the end of the conflict to be taken seriously and to be fully investigated and any individuals responsible to be brought fully to account. Fox said he was looking forward to the publication of the Lessons Learned and Reconciliation Commission report set for November this year. He would have expected, as I do, the Lessons Learned and Reconciliation Commission to examine all the evidence and make final, credible recommendations to the Sri Lankan government. Those recommendations will play a key role in strengthening the process of accountability and support peace and perhaps even more importantly, reconciliation as this country moves forward. And I hope and expect that we will see that type of progress when the LR, LLRC reports in November. Fox reiterated the need for a political solution to address genuine grievances of all Sri Lankans and the importance of independent institutions and freedom of the press to sustain peace. He believed in a future where Sri Lanka was united and where all citizens were equal, irrespective of their ethnicity or religion, and offered an opportunity to live without fear and share in the country's future as it emerged from the shadows of terrorism. He believed in an independent judicial system, complemented by political reform and underpinned by a free press. It was his unswerving belief in these which made him such a compelling and internationally respected political figure. The two of us often talked late into the evening about our hopes for peace in Sri Lanka. But we shared the view that peace is not simply the absence of war. A genuine peace requires other positive attributes. It requires freedom from fear, freedom of expression, including a free press and broadcast media, and the freedom to dissent within the law. It requires an inclusive political situation that addresses the underlying causes of conflict and takes into account the legitimate grievances and aspirations of all the people of this island. These are the challenges which today's politicians here must face and the principles they must uphold and defend if the aspirations of Lachman Kadagama are to be achieved.